welcome to the Cynthia Nyamai show. Now, dating is fun and all the steps that you have to take before marriage. But would you wait for your parents to arrange your marriage for you and meet your spouse on your wedding day? The couple that you're about to meet were two strangers walking down the aisle and they started dating after their marriage. That story and more coming up shortly. Thank you so much, Liz Ocampo, for pasta. <laughs> and also Pastor Saul yeah. Ocampo for joining us today. Do people make fun of that name Ocampo? Yes, all the time, <laughs> everywhere the time. we go. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, is that real? Yeah. So they have to double check and then when they realize it's a real it's name, real. they just start And do laughing. they ask, are you related to Ocampo? Yes. All the time. I'm sure she had to explain I to you to what's talk behind like Ocampo. <laughs> The first time I saw that name, it was on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So I was like, has Ocampo moved to Kenya? Because I could see, yes, a Kenyan story. But the interesting thing is, mm -hmm. what I found out on YouTube mm -hmm. was much more interesting to me than Ocampo. Mm -hmm. And that's arranged marriage. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, and it's not an Indian couple. <laughs> it's actually, there's a Kenyan involved I'm called <laughs> I was like, my, my Kamba people are doing arranged marriage. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me start by asking you, Saul. Did you grow up uh, seeing? I know for us Kambas we don't have it, but did you grow up? Is it part of your culture having arranged marriages? Yes, it's not part of our Filipino culture. Yes, uh, everybody else there is also shocked. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. uh, with my family, yes, it's been part of us uh -huh. since our firstborn. Yeah, um, they all went through arranged marriage. So growing up. When I saw their marriages working, yes. it was no longer a shock. Oh, so and so did you grow up? Were you dating people when you were growing up? Or you knew it's going to be arranged for me? I don't need to go through the stress. Yeah, there were, there's no dating in our family. <laughs> uh, we grew up in a very conservative and Christian yes. home. Even so, in teenage, there's no secret dating. Uh, yeah, you can try to <laughs> do dating, you know, secretly without your parents' knowledge. Yes. Uh, but we knew that we were going to be ch uh, chosen for our future spouses. Yes. And would you sometimes hint and tell your parents, when you're getting me a spouse, this is what I want? Oh, yes. I told her in very clear terms. <laughs> yes. I said, it's fine. I now accept you to choose for me <laughs> all my request is that you choose someone from the philippines yes. a, fair, a fellow filipina uh, <laughs> that time they were talking about a white lady an american yes. i said no please don't mm. choose from any other country just filipino <laughs> and it was it had to be a camera <laughs> <you. laughs> and for you but did, did you have it in your family no it's not part of the camera culture no it's not part of our camera culture not yeah. part of my present family yes. not part of my parents even thinking about it yeah. i'm the last one of eight none of my siblings <laughs> went through it yes. so so how sure. did you meet okay can i even ask how did you meet <laughs> <Since> it's arranged <laughs> so how was it arranged yes well uh, as my family has been doing it for all of us yes now they have been family friends with her parents okay since the late 1980s because they've been missionaries here yes so when it was my uh, sister older sister's turn mm. she was number five yeah uh, on that wedding she, my mom invited her parents to mm. come over so when she was there my mother was like, you know, it's my son Solomon who's next. next. And yes. I'm thinking your daughter Elizabeth uh, would be a, a good, good fit for, yeah, good match. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's how it started. So how, and how would your mom, you know, know someone is a good match? I know, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, we thought at first it was just by looking at them and their personality yes. and other um, conveniences, but then later on they explained to us mm -hmm. that it was nothing like that. Yes. They went to more a spiritual direction. Mm -hmm. They prayed about it yes. and who they felt that uh, was led to them by, you know, by the spirit mm -hmm. because they believe so much in that yeah. was who they chose. Yeah. So yeah. it was not because of any 
physical consideration, how you look mm -hmm. or who you are, status yeah. or money. Yeah. Yeah. So mm. uh, that's what they told us. Because mm. a lot of times when it comes to arranged marriages, uh, it's more for starters, yes. mm -hmm. for business. Mm -hmm. and for business, yes. yeah. For when did you know that a certain mother somewhere is <laughs> praying <laughs> and thinking <laughs> of leads? Mm. How did you find that? Uh, immediately, his mother told my mother. My mother yes. called me mm -hmm. laughing like, yeah. hey, you know, the campus day, they arrange their kids. You yeah. know, we always found it hilarious because mm. we knew them. And, you yeah. know, I would see siblings arrange, hey, like, hey, these guys, this hey, these guys are <laughs> funny. <laughs> they are special. Yeah. Like, who? obeys their parents yeah. like that <laughs> and so she's laughing and she's telling yeah, me and you know and even me i laugh more. i'm like yeah, yeah. then they're like anyway you're the one who's been i'm like wait what <laughs> <laughs> she's yeah. like you're the one now for their next son yeah. but they're like seven sons i'm like no which one is solomon mm. <laughs> Because to me, they all look alike. Yeah. I'm telling you, not only do Asians look alike, yeah. Asians from one family, yeah. they all look alike. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, which one is Solomon? Yeah. <laughs> and at that time, I was dating. Mm. So I'm like, I know. Yeah. <laughs> and she, she's like, just think about it. I'm like, there's nothing to think about. There's yeah. no way somebody's speaking for me. <laughs> my yeah. husband, yeah. <laughs> Miss mm. so I don't see <laughs> the they reason. Have options. <laughs> they have options, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So yeah, when she came back, she said, "Just, just pray about it." Mm. I, but I was so certain there's nothing I'm praying yes, about. Yeah. Like I don't want to do this. Yeah. And then, so I went on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I, I look now which one is Solomon. Yeah. I look at. Hey, Did you like what you saw? Ah, there's nothing. And he photo. knows. You know, I looked at that profile picture. He said, "This guy's a joke." People put up <laughs> their best wow. photo. Not him. <laughs> the gloves have come up. <laughs> <laughs> like his style, everything. I'm yeah. like, what is So this? he was not his ty no, your type. No, he at was all? not my. Like there was nothing <laughs> about him. That could even attract me yes. a little, you know, even just a yeah. little. Like, like nothing. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> and for you, so did you go the out fact that I was black already? <laughs> I went to my mom and I said, please, please, uh -huh. just pick me someone from the Philippines, Philippines yes. anybody, because you know, I was very patriotic and close-minded yeah. at that time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you already had you know, your own ideas of the kind of person mm -hmm. who you wanted. So when your parents started having this discussion, um, did you take it, like for you, and you're already dating someone else, mm -hmm. did you end that relationship? Did you take that discussion between your parents seriously? No, I didn't end it. Uh, that was in 2011 yes. when his uh, sister was getting married. Mm. And then they informed me now. So my mother at that time loved Philippines so much yeah. when she went. So yeah. she really wanted us as a family to go for yes. a vacation. Yeah. So in 2012, we went for that vacation. Mm -hmm. But we completely forgot about all these things, yeah. you know, arranged marriage and all that. We <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't keep in touch. Because to them, they just wanted to throw the idea up there yeah. and then pursue it later. Because yes. also he was still in university. Mm. And so when we went there, first of all, in the airport, I noticed everybody who has come to pick us, they're giggling, they're yeah. laughing, they're pointing at me. Yeah. We are three of my sisters, but why are people singing yeah. me out, yeah. you know? And I'm like, oh. So you were checking, maybe my hair is not right, <laughs> or what's going on? And then it hit us, oh, <laughs> see, you want to be arranged to the yeah. prophet's yeah. son. And, and so I, I was like, wow, this is going to be one heck of a vacation. <laughs> yeah. And so for sure, that's all day, the entire vacation, because it's his ministry which who are taking us, uh, yes. you know, go see this place. Yeah. And, uh, and it will always come up, oh, you're the one for the prophet's son. I'm like, no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> it had never really come up okay. and uh, because to me it was a joke yeah. you know you're being told ah, and then you dismiss it ah, Nico, now you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, mm -hmm. so that 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 was it and so while we were there mm -hmm. Towards the the end of the the last day, mm. and was he pursuing you? No, you he did not. Were you guys? He didn't talking? even talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I was, I was asking my mother, please, please, please reconsider. Reconsider. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know you should have just <laughs> probably even taken. Yeah, I don't know how like it Take take her out once and just find out. Well, they're not uh, allowed have to do those Oh, things. so that's not allowed? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So no dating. No, no, no dating. dating. Yeah, no yeah. This is interesting. And then huh? if I would see him, I would see him in a crowd yeah, of people. Yeah. And then he'd never even 
Ati want to say hi yeah. or something. I was like, hey, we so are a good one, and that's it. Initially, there was no <laughs> attraction at all. Oh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Wow. Okay. For so, me. Yeah. Him, you're stuck on this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, mm. uh, so at the end that uh tw two weeks, just two weeks on yeah. the fourteenth day, uh, mm. they they call the whole congregation and their pastors and all that, and they throw us a party as a by party. We are coming back to Nairobi, yes. my family and I. Mm. And so his father gets on the and you know his father they are not playing jokes that yeah. the mothers were playing. Yeah, <laughs> wow. them they are serious, yes. you know. And so I see his father, a very serious man, by mm. the way. <laughs> well respected exactly a leader, yes. a man of god yeah. i mean he's leading a lot of churches mm. so he doesn't play these yeah. jokes on me when he's there he's like oh and i want to betroth my son mm. i'm like hey finally they found somebody for yeah. this guy <laughs> were, were there many others who there were, they we were, were seven we were seven <laughs> ladies <laughs> on the line and when they told me that i said look at these people <laughs> Yes. Yeah. So the you mother just actually know there are told six me, others. Just know uh, you are among the seven we've listed to the Lord to pick who we wow. chose for our son. I'm like, oh. But anyway, <laughs> in the Old Testament, <laughs> is this the book of Deuteronomy? <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyway, the so I'm like, oh, finally, this guy is found. Yes. And then he makes the announcement mm -hmm. and he says, and it is Liz all the way from Nairobi, and she even happens to be here. I'm yes. like, oh, wow. my goodness. <laughs> She starts crying. I'm with my sisters. They are tapping me. They are laughing. <laughs> <laughs> laughing at your misery. I'm telling you, even one is on the floor with laughter. I'm like, what? <laughs> I can <know> be particular. <laughs> yeah. So, me, I stand up with my tears. You know, when you're there in front of people, you yeah. know. I mean, I maybe people were thinking these are tears of joy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> And then in the congregation, I hear some girls uh -huh. also crying. Yeah. I'm like, where are we are many today? <laughs> then they thought they're going to they be picked out. They're <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crying, I've been picked. Yeah. Hey. So all hearts were broken. Hey, that hearts day. were being broken. <laughs> 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 oh, for sure, I stand out. Yeah. Hey, he's at the back, they call him. He's yeah. even in uniform. You know, well, in, Phil in Philippines, university students wear uniform. I'm telling you. So here is I'm your husband, you. he's even in, in uniform. uniform. <laughs> Okay, we're going to take a short <laughs> break. <laughs> so I can wait for my tears. My now of joy. <laughs> but when we come back, we find out more about arranged marriages, what happened after the uniform, and also if they finally found love. That is coming up shortly. Welcome back to the Cynthia Nyamai show. Right here in studio, we have Liz and Sol Ocampo telling us more about arranged marriages. So here you are, a lot of times when we read romantic stories, how we met my husband, he was dressed and smelling a shy, certain way. He was <laughs> in uniform. <laughs> 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 so did you know that day that your dad was going to announce? Uh, no. Who? Not at all. In fact, I was not supposed to go to that uh, meeting because meeting okay. yes. I was at school. Yes. So it was just a last minute thing. I didn't have an idea. Yes. So we were both caught uh, by surprise. Mm. Although for me, it was less shocking because I knew that yeah. was my path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then so after that, uh, what was the next step? Did you come back to Nairobi, tell your friends? <laughs> no. <laughs> but mo most people come Why? from a vacation bringing home back a t-shirt. I know. She came back, back with a fiance <laughs> with a husband. <laughs> husband to <laughs> me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, the first thing. What was that ride, you know, back to Kenya in the plane? Like, me, yeah, I'm thinking of what to tell my boyfriend in Kenya. Yes, I mean, yeah. that, that, that was my situation. <laughs> yeah. You know, and so I come back, of course, we discuss and we realize I'm in a very complicated situation yeah. right now because yeah. I also don't want to destroy the relationship my parents have been having with That's these parents true. Yes. <clears throat> by just blood out mm -hmm. <laughs> saying no yes anyway so yeah so that's what i did and we decided to part ways mm -hmm. uh very well mm -hmm. nice we're still friends till date yeah and so after that 
I tried to pray, I tried to fast, yes. me, I was not getting a sign from the Lord yes. or anything. I wow. did not get all those yeah. things. How People long was say, this? No answers, no response? Two years. Yeah. It wow. was two years. And this is two years of me already finishing Bible school. Yes. So I'm, I'm, I'm strong in the faith. Yes. I'm not just a young yeah, girl, yeah. clueless. You know, yes. I'm strong in the faith. I'm praying. I'm, I'm not getting any answers. Mm. I'm, I may call them, I tell them, you know what, guys? <laughs> you call the parents. <laughs> I call the parents. Yes. I tell them, I'm sorry, I have to break this mm. betrothment or yes, whatever that yes. was. I release me. I want to be single, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yes. I, I am in my prime, mm. and I want to go back to searching yes. for the one. Yeah. Oh, not me searching. I need to be found. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So his mother tried to convince me, you know, and she can talk. Yeah. She, I remember until my, uh, the phone, you're just doing like this because you cannot. And she talked yeah. and she talked. I said, no, mm. I'm really, really convinced that this is not my way. Yes. And so I blocked him mm -hmm. from trying to reach me on Facebook, yes. WhatsApp, Viber, ev any way mm. that he could find me, I blocked him. <laughs> because he tried to say hi here yeah there. so there was no, no communication now no. for the two years there was no communication no there's no communication yes. so i went back into dating mm. and so since i was a young pastor i decided yeah. let me um mm -hmm. as we were told in bible school date your fellow pastors yes so i was dating my fellow young pastors yes. you know kuna youth pastor <laughs> You're like let me run away from Saul. whatever <laughs> exactly <it takes>. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's exactly what i did i went on a dating spree yes. and uh with clearly only pastors and yeah. I was very disappointed. Wow. My heart was broken in ways of, in terms of purity. Yes. Like when you tell somebody, these are my terms, mm -hmm. these are my principles mm -hmm. and they tell you, uh, to achieve or quite a bit. <laughs> pastor I, to I, pastor. I, I thought pastor to pastor, that <laughs> yeah, is like, where you would you're never thinking, exactly. even need to have that discussion. Like, exactly. That's you're thinking like, you know, yes. our destiny is tied. Yeah, Let's yes. take it and show people that yes. to the altar we can do this. Mm. But I didn't get that at all. Yes. And so... Mm -hmm. uh, I decided to pray now, Lord, I need a man who has higher standards than I have. Yes. Because I was finding my standards, they're not even that high. Yeah. And yet they're being... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys are like, ay, wey, wey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no way. Wow. And so, yeah. So yeah. during that time, uh, the Lord reminded me of mm -hmm. the family, not him particularly, but of the family yes. and how they have been <laughs> raised and their purity yes. standards, even to his sisters, yes. they, just, they don't hug men, they don't even greet men, even the ones you're betrothed to. Wow. And so I was like, any of those are standards. <laughs> wow. I was like, those are standards. And, and, and that, so your answer finally started, the, the, mm. the praying and the fasting, clearly your answer was coming up slowly. Yes, yeah, slowly. But for you doing those two years, were you dating, even though it's probably not allowed, uh, or were you even opening up to other people? Yes, so at that time, um, I already, you know, had that notion that as a family, we don't break these um, yes. agreements. Yeah. So I was still under that agreement, although she was saying no, and I was already losing heart. Yes. But my mom was saying, uh, let's give it one more chance, yes. that one more try, and then from there, we, we will move on. Yes. So that's the period I was in. Yeah. Uh, but then one day, after two years, I saw it on my social media I was unblocked. <laughs> <laughs> Before we even get <laughs> I need to, I'm listening to you talking and I'm thinking when I was in university I would have never allowed my parents to tell me who to date. Of course there were guidelines, but yes. what made you uh, you know wait until your parents tell you who to date, who to to marry why why would you say yes to all that yes uh, that's a good question because uh, our parents also guide us even with their choices for our spouses mm -hmm. it's just a recommendation yes. they tell us you can say yes or no oh okay yes so it's not like a gun to your head so like you can say no to an arranged marriage yes. you want to go out and oh date. yes so with that option why didn't you take the Obvious option well, that most of us take. Yes, well, uh, my mother was very uh, thorough in how she was raising us up, yes. and that this is the right way, this is how she, you should do it. Mm. And then seeing my 
elder brothers and sisters yeah. go through it. Yeah. And at that time, they were still married. And yeah. up to this day, they're still happy, yeah, all true. happily married with lots of kids. Yes. So for me, that was the way of life yeah. that I okay. knew. Yes. Actually, the statistics actually show that uh, countries where they have arranged marriages, there's less number of divorces. Oh, yeah. So the numbers yeah. you know, to your family. <laughs> yeah, because if you see if it's working. Right. Yeah. Yes, yes. So you got unblocked. Thank you. You got unblocked. <laughs> I don't know what led her to unblock me. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Why did it you It was the prayers I was making that reminded me. I was like, you know what? Let me, yes, the let me just say, yeah, I know he's not oh, yes. my list. You know, then you have a list. Yeah. You have to engage, blah, blah, blah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you know, anyway, the Spirit has led me to, yes. to remember this family for yes. a reason. Yeah. Maybe there's something I need to learn from yeah. there. So, I, so I, the attraction mm. was not yet there, but the values. The values and the similar. principles and yes. the standards. Wow. Yes. Wow. Okay. I'm learning. It doesn't have to always be about attraction mm. and so on. The values are also very important. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what uh, led me to unblock him. So I unblocked him mm -hmm. and informed him he's unblocked. I'm like, hi. <laughs> you know, when you unblock some of the donors, yeah, they unblocked yeah. you have to actually do something. Yeah. So I sent a message. I'm like, hi. And that was on Tuesday. Yeah. On Friday, I was in my living room in Nairobi proposing. <laughs> <laughs> Like Tuesday, fast. and yeah. then you spoke on Tuesday, said hi. He responded the same day, or? Oh, that same Tuesday he responded. He's like, uh, what's your ring size? Yeah. I'm like, dude, <laughs> relax. How do you I know, like for me, I'd want flowers yeah. and long <laughs> points and all I'll that. It was not him. It was, it was his mother. <laughs> <laughs> it was his mother. So ring size. Yeah, like the like, mom your was size? like, let's do yeah. this. We are not letting her I mean, go. It for jokes, you know, this is my ring size. So <laughs> I'm wondering, how does a hat? I translate to yes, I'll marry you. <laughs> I know, like she said, that my mother was very uh, strategic. Yes. She was like, she, we were put in the ice box for two years, yes. so this is the chance to try to get it, you wow. know? Like, <laughs> yeah. Go over there and fly over there. I'm like, fly yes. all the way to Africa? Mm -hmm. She's like, yeah, okay. Yes. I'm like, let's plan it. She's like, no, you fly tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. So I did. Yeah. Um, I came to... Uh, Kenya from the Philippines yes. um, ready for a yes or a no because for two years she's been saying no yeah. but I said uh, let me give it one last try yes and so I, I surprised her she mm. didn't know my brother was living here with his family yeah. uh, and they were good friends so they mm. said we want to see you we just want to bring you a cake yeah then when they arrived they're like okay where's the cake mm -hmm. uh, then I arrived surprise You're the cake <laughs> Did you like the cake? The cherry and the cake. <laughs> no, she did not like the cake. I did not like the cake. I did not like to be yeah. touched like this. Yeah. I like to plan my life. Yes. And this was not in plan. Mm. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. so he, he proposed. And in my mind at that time, I was like, there's so many people. Yeah. <laughs> His family was there. Yes. Uh, the ones who were in Kenya. Mm. And my family, for some reason, on that day, they were in the house again with the sisters yes. and brothers. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm like, I don't want to embarrass him. Let me just say yes, yes. now. And then, and then later, like, like tomorrow, tell I'll tell him, ah, you flew for nothing. Yeah. So oh no, let's God. get to know each other yeah, first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so me, I say yes. Yeah. <laughs> And he stands up and they're happy at his whole She said, yes. yes. They take me and my family out for dinner. Yes. And so, but during that time, my, my brother, mm -hmm. my older brother is like 10 years older than yeah. me. He, yeah. he, he asks me, uh, mm -hmm. congratulations, all yes. that. I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm going to mm. tell him no. Yeah. I didn't want to embarrass him. Yeah. <laughs> And so he's like, no, yeah. you don't do that to a man. I'm like, eh. yeah. <laughs> why is everybody dictating my love life yeah. now? <laughs> yeah. so, and then he's like, no, 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 you're not going to say no. You're going to continue this. All those useless guys you are dating, yes. this is the one to date. Yeah. I am like, okay, let me prolong this no. Let me yes. give it like three weeks yeah. and then I will tell him, ah, mm -hmm. no, it's not working. Because yeah. <laughs> I really wanted to get to know him. I didn't yeah. want a stranger. I didn't even know his second name. Yeah. I don't even know what's his <laughs> favorite color. Like, it's yeah. a complete stranger. Yeah. How can you say yes to you uh, your engagement? Mm. And so I said yes, and that was Friday. By Sunday, he goes back. Yeah. To the Philippines because so Monday he has to be in to school. Think. Yeah. I thought it would give me time to think. Yeah. His mom calls me, she's like, I mm. bought you a ticket, come to Philippines, we plan the wedding. Wow. That's on Tuesday again. So within a week of saying hi, here I am now flying to the later. field a week later. <laughs> <laughs> That's how when people say my life changed. <laughs> <overnight>. Exactly. 
<laughs> That's a good description. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So you go shopping? Yes, I go to the Philippines. Yes. Um, we're in Manila. You and know. what are you telling your friends? Like, uh, I'm, I'm going to the Philippines to shop for my wedding. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, last week we were just yeah. hanging out as girlfriends. <laughs> exactly. Single yes, girls. Yeah. All of them thought I was hiding the relationship. Ah. So I didn't want to tell them, ah, it's arranged. Because yes. they'll talk me out yes, of it. So yeah. I just, uh, yeah. Mm, mm. I'm, I'm, I'm planning my wedding. Yes. Yeah. He proposed. Yeah. <clears throat> wow. So I, I didn't tell them yeah. it was arranged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you go to the Philippines, start shopping? Absolutely. So his mother was very strategic. She yeah. spoiled me rotten. Like I was completely <laughs> spoiled. Yeah. Like she took me to all the big hotels yeah. in the Philippines. Mm. Just island hopping yeah. and shopping. She'll and then pick whatever you want, wow. you know. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm like, what? Mm. <laughs> That's how how will I get out? <laughs> <laughs> Get out. Yeah. <laughs> so initially, that's what kept me there. Yeah. I didn't want to embarrass my family. Yeah. Like, you went and used yeah. because <laughs> you went shopping. <laughs> you went yeah. shopping. And me, I wasn't picking. Yeah. You know, I, so she'll pick for me. Yeah. She'll see a dress. Which, which one do you want? So yeah. I'm like, no, I'm fine. Mm. She's like, oh, okay. She'll pick all colors red, white, and all yes. that dress. Yeah. I'm like, what? I came with like four suitcases of brand new wow. stuff. Of things I haven't picked. Me, I, I was shy to pick because yeah. I don't want to embarrass yeah. my family. Yeah. <laughs> but his mom was very tactful with that, way, yeah. I would say. Mm. So I came back embarrassed not to. Yeah. <laughs> three weeks. Yeah. Three weeks of being spoiled. So in, in this the three weeks of yeah. being spoiled, was yeah. he also spoiling you? Were you? No, I did didn't you go see out you in different date? cities. Oh. And so, so you still don't know the man who I still don't know him. Okay. I'm trying to know him, but he's so busy. I don't know, Philippines University, they yeah. are from morning to evening. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. And so I, we tried to talk, but we, we didn't talk. Yeah. We still didn't go on a date. Yeah. We, we still didn't know what our favorite colors were. Yeah. yeah, like basics of knowing each other. Yes. So me, I'm busy knowing his sisters better because yes. those are the ones we are planning the wedding with. So if mother. you're if you're planning for a wedding, how yeah. do you know what theme he would like? What colors? And men are all have? the same. <laughs> all the <laughs> wedding is for the woman. <laughs> and he told me, me I really don't mind anything. <laughs> anything is fine. Anything, whatever you yeah. want. Ah, but so there's <laughs> also the issue of culture. The cultures are so different. Yes. Even just the culture of arranged wedding and then Philippines and so uh, you were going through a lot. Yes, I was going through a lot. But the good thing, mm -hmm. his his family told me whatever I want, yes. they'll do it. Okay. So if I want a piece of Africa in my wedding, yes. they'll do it. Whatever I want. So they're just listen taking notes how mm. do i want my i did not plan my wedding i wow. gave them my vision yeah i want it like this yeah. and for sure that day I showed up and it was perfect wow so, I didn't so have the, the next time you went to the philippines was to show up for your wedding yes with my family now and my bridesmaids they, f they paid for all of them wow <laughs> So now had you, when it was, how now, how, when, is this like a month later after the shopping or Oh yeah, how long? The, the shopping was in September, we got married in November. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and so for you, were you also, you know, going shopping and all that and you still had school? No, I wasn't shopping. No, you didn't. Yeah. It was mostly her. So you just, <laughs> you also just showed up for your wedding. Yes, yes you I also just showed, just showed up. up. So <laughs> this was two strangers. Two strangers absolutely. walking down the aisle yes. to a stranger. Exactly. You don't know this person. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> You shouldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, don't do it. I, 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 <laughs> don't I, I, try I've this. I've seen your wedding photo. Uh -huh. You don't look like two strangers <laughs> in your wedding photos. Let me tell you, the days leading up to a wedding are mm -hmm. exciting. No, no oh, wonder okay. people get tangled yes. in with the events. Yes. 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 Ah, okay. So that's what it was. It but, was more of the events. But even when you're saying the vows, do you like? Uh, wait, wait, was there a point where you're like, "Ah, oh, yeah, by the way, what's his name?" That guy. Yeah, look at my vows. I love. I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> so, so even like, so afterwards, uh, you go out for your honeymoon. How was your honeymoon like? Hey, that's strangers? another story. <laughs> 
<laughs> because we, uh, as she said, yeah. all the family w uh, were there. Yeah. So instead of a honeymoon, what we got was a vacation, family yes, vacation. Oh, both would, families. Both families. Oh, and Mu, your family vacation. Yeah. So our room would be next to theirs. You could wow. hear her brothers yeah. laughing. <laughs> and in the next room, you're like, wow, the soundtracks of this honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> so was that comforting because the two of you were strangers or did you really want time now to get to know each other? Oh. No, we knew each other's families. Yes. What are we there to know each other for? <laughs> that, that, that <laughs> to know the individuals. <laughs> exactly. exactly. That's what I'm asking. Was it comforting that you're strangers so it's good to have family around? Or did you at that time feel like we want everyone to go? We, we wanted, wanted to everybody to okay. go, like leave us alone. I last them in Nairobi. Why are you still in Manila? In fact, that night that, you know, after the wedding, yes. the wedding night, you yes. know, where you're supposed to come together. Yeah. So we go up to our uh, bedroom, yes. our yeah. suite. Yeah. Then when we're there alone, yeah. Before we could do anything, mm -hmm. we hear a doorbell. Ding dong! <laughs> <laughs> excuse me, guys. Uh, we had left a suitcase here somewhere. Oh uh, excuse goodness. me. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, now coast is clear. Yeah. <laughs> when we're about to do anything, <laughs> ding dong, excuse me, my small brother comes. And at that time, you know, he's too young. And yeah. I, I thought he was innocent. He's yeah. like, kuya, kuya. It means older brother. Yeah. Don't do anything first. I'm like, what do you mean anything? Yeah. What do you know about anything? <laughs> uh, we left some food in the fridge. <laughs> Yeah. I feel like his younger siblings had a hard time knowing that we were married yeah. because the whole night they disturbed they, us. They disturbed yeah. us the whole night, so <laughs> nothing happened. We were just fully clothed in our bedroom yeah. there in the wedding night like, until mm. 1 a.m. <laughs> so it was like that until she had enough. I think after two weeks, she told them, we can't continue with this it honeymoon, two weeks. Yes, it family took two vacation. Weeks that. Wow. So she finally said, you guys go I even somewhere. I SIM card and threw it. I'm like, your kuya got married. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to a stranger. Yes. We need to go out on a date. Yeah. <laughs> so dating started after, after the wedding. So we dated yes. after our wedding. Yeah. We got, that's when we got to know each other. Who yes. are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How old are you again? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but was that a nice experience? It was beautiful yeah, because now beautiful. you date somebody and you go make love to them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Legal. Legally. <laughs> yeah. Holy Spirit. Yeah. Hallelujah. Everything yeah. is wonderful. Wow. <laughs> that, 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 but when do you um, begin to feel like, okay, I think I'm beginning to like them. I think I'm beginning to fall in love. When did that start for you, Liz? For me, for uh -huh. sure, it was because immediately when our parents, this dating we did was like two days. Yeah. After that, mm. I got very sick with our first pregnancy. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so it came so quickly. Yes. And we didn't know, and I became so sick. So I was throwing up like 50, 60 times a day. Wow. Just throwing up. Yes. So I was keeping nothing absolutely down. Yeah. No liquids, no nothing. Any smell was. Yes. <coughs> was completely repulsive yeah. and so he immediately had to become a nurse to me 24 hour yeah. nurse he has to bathe me he has to take me to the bathroom yes. he has to wipe me as in yeah. that's how sick i was and so seeing him doing this to a stranger and consistently yeah. and full of love you, you just in second corinthians like love yes. is patient yeah. love is kind mm. love is long suffering yes. That's what I fell in love wow. with. I wow. fell in love with the fact of how this man could love me unconditionally. Yeah. I was not now on slay mode. I was looking horrible. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm throwing up every minute. It's all over me. Yeah. And he has to clean all that up to a stranger. Yeah. And that's when I fell in love with him. Wow. I can see the tears <laughs> in your eyes. Uh, that, then you realized you were wrong about that Facebook photo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I realized love is not a feeling. Yeah, it's not what we see. Yeah, it's not what we see. It's not also so much about our expectations. Exactly. Yes, exactly. yes. Wow, that's unconditional love. Mm -hmm. Unconditional love. Mm -hmm. But for you, what a way to fall in love with someone. You have to take care of them. Yeah. When did you begin? In all that, when did you fall in love with her? I fell in love with her as we uh, lived together. Now we were together all the time. Yes. And because of her sickness, I had to drop everything. Yes. So we were together 24-7. Wow. So I have to admit, you know, I'm not an angel or from <laughs> the outer space yes. where I'm okay with this. Yeah. It was taking a toll on me. Yeah. But because our wedding, our marriage mm. was founded not on emotion. Like, yes. Oh, I'm so in love with this person. Yeah. She's so beautiful or he's so handsome. So the foundation was because I believed mm -hmm. 
that this was arranged by God, that yes. this was God's purpose for yeah. me, destiny for me. Mm. So I was hanging on to that and I just started falling in love with this person. Yes. Because now, you know, yeah, we had our short honeymoon time yeah. Yeah. and God allowed that emotion to, you know, mm. fill us. Yes. yes, it was arranged marriage, mm. but then when we started living together, I, I fell in love with her yeah. and I said, this is my wife. Yeah. Yes, it's difficult now, mm. but this is the person that God created for me. Yes, uh, and also getting married in Philippines, they, they are not allowed to divorce. Did you did you know that when <laughs> no, I you were getting know that. married? <laughs> I didn't. Know that. But now you you later moved uh, back to to Kenya, and I know you're both uh, pastors. Uh, you're you're a pastor for the youth. Yes, yes. Yeah, and for you young couples. Yes. How do you teach um, young couples about? marriage and and falling in love and and all that and yet your process was different yeah actually that's a big challenge because you know uh when there's stories of courtship and all of that how did you first like her for me yes. none of that applies yeah. uh, but uh, just taking the same principle and guiding knowledge and wisdom from the bible mm. and being really founded on the fact that when you invite god to the marriage yes. it helped solve a lot of problems. Mm. So that is what also I try to encourage all young couples like marriages that you bring in God into the picture. Yes. Because once you're caught up in love, I love, this is how I feel, this is how I'm treated, mm -hmm. it gets very s selfish quickly yes. and that can lead to more unresolved problems. Mm. But when you realize marriage is instituted by God, yes. it has a purpose, yeah. and you bring God into it with your problems, mm. then God has an answer for every kind of marriage. Yes, yes. But when you sometimes talk to the different couples who went through the traditional process that we have in Kenya, do you feel like, oh, maybe I missed out on that? Or Yes, I, I do feel like I missed out on that, yes. uh, the whole process. Um, although in the wedding she brought Kenya or Africa yeah. to our wedding yeah. so all of the guests there up to this day they're like that's the best wedding we've ever attended because they brought yes. the Kenyan singing and yeah. dancing yeah. but yeah I feel like I've missed out on that cultural mm, aspect mm, yes mm, mm. are you are you going to choose uh, a spouse for your four lovely children <laughs> absolutely <laughs> <laughs> now you're convinced well, it I'm works convinced it works and wow. mainly because marriage is difficult it yes. is hard and your parents know you inside out and your parents want nothing but the best for yes. you so i believe i'll make great decisions <laughs> <laughs> but we actually both of us don't we don't recommend it to others because you know it can be taken advantage That's of the, yeah. with money yes. or position or mm. manipulation or the selfish agenda of the people choosing for you yes. and marriage or your spouses can make or break your life yeah. but if it's not um you know a force arrangement that you have the freedom mm -hmm. it's a recommendation then i say go ahead yes yes and and now having realized that um, you are wrong about the f Facebook uh, photo, <laughs> does it feel like that truly he was meant for you? Yes, because mm. I feel like during that period that I was betrothed to being engaged, yeah. the time I took off, mm. it it was it was necessary. Yeah. Because I will became now truly convinced who God created for me. Yes. And I find that we are so in sync. Mm -hmm. And that, yeah. and in fact, that Facebook photo is just because you're bad angle and badly yes. dressed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because right now, to me, yeah. he's like the most handsome man in my eyes. Thank yeah. you. In my world. <laughs> yeah. And so, so it's not, actually, I'm loving this guy that is not handsome to mm. me. But to me, he, right now, he's really handsome. And God knew exactly what I needed that I did not know that I needed. Yes. You know, I would have been going for all this super <laughs> I mean these things which are just so yeah, fake you yeah. know you, you want somebody like mm. imagine if you're really dressed nicely like, oh that is what I want and then it's somebody who can't even take care of you when yes. you're in a difficult pregnancy yeah. they would have not seen you through it mm. and you'd have just had a broken marriage because you are going for your own list for your own things yes. for things that are superficial that are not strong enough they cannot hold on when storms come in your mm. marriage and so I thank God that I went through that period because it convinced me more than ever that he is the one. Yeah. So I don't go on the street wondering, hey, what if I dated that one? Hey, what? <laughs> no, I'm yeah. convinced yeah. he's the one God created mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, thank you so much. I wish we had more time. <laughs> uh, I'm learning the process uh, and evaluating now my choices, but I'm so grateful. And people can watch your stories. I learned more about you actually um, from your page on, on YouTube. Mm -hmm. But we're so grateful that you shared your story for us. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you for having us. Thank <laughs> you so much. So when it comes to love, it is about what I'm learning today, finding out more about yourself. What are your values and who is aligned to those values? It takes more than love and maybe more than some of the traditional things that we have been taught. Have a good week and see you next time.